Hi, this video is from Intv.com. Intv.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about JPA repository find one. One of the APIs supported in JPA repository. Before that, why do we need to have a JPA repository? What are the benefits if I use JPA repository in our Spring code? So in my application, I have written a very simple uh, code to store hotel object in my database I'm using Derby database and I have my hotel repository extending from JP repository I have to give my entity class hotel and the data type for primary key and JP repository is coming from spring framework behind the scene they do lot of uh, they are generating a lot of code for basic methods I'll show you the basic methods they generate the code if you see here, these are the methods uh, Spring Framework is going to generate code for us. We don't have to write any code for all these methods. It's already done by the Spring Framework. And JP repository, you should choose to avoid boilerplate code in, in our Java application. If you see before us using the Spring, Spring Framework, we used to write a lot of boilerplate code like this. Co talking to the database, getting the connection creating the statements, you know, make a query and uh, uh, send a query to the database and get the results and iterate the results and insert into the object. But now using um, Spring Frameworks or JPA repository, you don't have to do anything. Uh, you don't have to do much in your uh, repository DAO layer. You have to just extend from the JPA repository and your and all the basic operations are ready for you. It's a ready-made code, I would say. You don't have to. You can avoid all all these uh, boilerplate code in your Java application so I have then after having my customized oral repository which is extending from the JP repository I'm going to use all my supported default methods so in this demo I'm going to show you find one I will pass the ID and I'll get my total object from the database and this transactional is very important uh, this is like giving control to the spring framework to take care of my transaction i don't have to begin the transaction commit the transaction no spring spring framework will have a uh, will, will write the wrapper method uh, using the aop aspect oriented programming proxy it will create a proxy object and it will do it for me okay and in order to in order to enable this api repository you need to uh, add this annotation in your con configuration file let me run this program so that you can understand in the debug mode I'm going to run this okay before that I want to just show you there are no data at all in my table if you see here if you see there are no data but in my spring application I'm going to create a hotel now and I'm going to persist it then I'm going to use this find hotel by id so here in this application i'm creating a hotel okay i'm creating a hotel using repository save then find all then our uh, demo method is find one method supported in the repository okay if you see here this find one when you pass the ID primary key it will give you the return you the hotel object so this is the purpose of find one API supported in the JPA repository before that just I want to ensure we are here okay So we got our hotel object. You see here we have got it. Before that, I just want to show you this one. So we have created a hotel using JP repository, and we are able to retrieve using find one method supported in the JP repository. Hope this video is useful and informative. Thank you and all the best.